Hello and welcome. My name is Rebecca with Laugh So Create. In today's tutorial, I want to share with you how to attach straps to a summer hat. If you haven't checked out my bucket hat tutorial, I will link it up there and down below somewhere. In the tutorial, I actually show you different patterns as well as different hats and styles, but I also show you how to make the hat. I don't show you how to do the straps, that's this video. So if you're interested in attaching some straps to your hat so you can wear it on a boat or if you want to make some for your grandkids so that hat stays on, Come on in, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You'll need two long rectangles and I've made them two inches wide by 24 inches in length. And then I'm also gonna add a little loop for a hook. And you can make this one longer if you want to, but just so I can hook it on a door hook, this one measures two inches by three inches. Obviously you can adjust these to however you like. Okay, so just take your each of the rectangles and you're gonna first press them in half. And then you're gonna open it back up and you're going to take the sides and press them in towards the center. Press it towards the other side. And you're gonna repeat that for the chin straps as well. Okay, then press in half. As you press this in half, you can add clips. And you'll repeat this step for both straps. Okay, make sure you have a stitch length that is appropriate for top stitching. And if you're wondering, if you're a beginner, that means that usually if you're, you're using a stitch length for structure, you want that stitch length to be shorter, about a 2.0 to 2.5. I mostly use a 2.5. And then when you see directions that say top stitch, you want a longer length just because it is more appealing to the eye when it is a little bit longer. So a, a usually about a three millimeter stitch length. You can try it out on different types of fabric to see the look that you like. And just back stitch at the beginning and end. And I'm actually going to be using uh, my presser foot as a guide, but about an eighth of an inch from the edge is where you want to be. The main thing here is to make sure that the edges are butting up and that one's not protruding from underneath. For you beginners, I'm just using a, a stiletto. You could also, if you don't have something like this, you could also use your machine screwdriver and just hold it. And that's just so that it doesn't shift while you're sewing it to the end. Okay, and for you beginners out there, I didn't know this, but when you're doing things like straps, you wanna make sure that when you come and sew the second side, you're sewing it in the same direction and that eliminates the possibility of it, the, t the fabric twisting. So I went down this way. So now I'm gonna just put it on the other side and do the same thing, but for the other side. Instead of going down and then coming back the other direction, when that happens, it can kind of cause some twisting in your fabric. And then you're gonna repeat for the other strap. Okay, and then for the loop, you can go ahead and tack it in place or baste it in place so that it'll stay together when you're trying to put it in the seam. So all, you, all I did for that is just loop it, put the edges together and sew across. Okay, your loop is ready. Okay, so you add your straps once you've done the brim and once you've done the lining top. So you want the right side facing up. You're gonna drop the lining in 
And the goal here is to have the lining, the right side of the lining top matching the right side of the lining brim. And the important part here is to line up the seams and pin. And if that is exactly where you want the strap, which probably will be on the sides, this is where you would attach your strap. And the strap's gonna be coming this way. And the important thing to do is to pick the strap that has the unfinished end, insert it where you want it. When you're inserting it, you want to pull out extra beyond the edge of the seam because when you go to stitch it, if you, if you stitch it when it's too close to the seam, it may pull out and get loose. So always add a little extra further up beyond the edge and pin it in place. That way when you're done and you've back stitched a couple of times, you know that that strap will be secure. One important part is when you're pinning, you want the right sides of the lining facing each other. And you just wanna make sure that the seams are lining up well. Then work your way around. 